Hi everyone, this is going to be a short video on the different types of pain receptors that we have in our body. In this video, I'm going to be going through five types of receptors, and these are receptors that are usually found on the surface or near the surface of the skin. So as you can see, they are sensitized to sense exogenous or external stimuli of pain. So some of these receptors are just maybe associated directly with touch, whilst others are directly associated with pain. The first receptor, uh, receptor sorry, that I'm going to go through is called a Merkel disc. Now, Merkel discs are present just below where the epidermis lies. So I would say within the dermis, but um, for now, let's just say it's, it's on the border of the epidermis and dermis. And its main function is, is that it's responsible for light touch. So the Merkel disc is responsible for sensing when something lightly touches on your skin. The next uh, aspect that I want to talk about is a root hair plexus. And the location of these is pretty self-explanatory. These root hair plexuses entwine or wrap around the hair follicles. and are responsible for light touch once again. And you may be wondering why um, both the Merkel discs and root hair plexuses are responsible for light touch. Well, essentially, they allow for different, um, I guess you could say, varying lengths or varying dimensions of sensation to be taken in within the body. These Merkel discs can be present on hairless skin as well. But since root hair plexuses are only present on the areas of the skin where hair is present, they not only allow for sensitization of uh, when a particular stimulus touches the skin, but even if something brushes against the hair of uh, one's skin very lightly, the body will still be able to sense it and potentially, if it's a painful stimulus, act against it as well. The next uh, receptor that I want to talk about is called a Meissner's corpuscle. Now, a Meissner's corpuscle is, once again, responsible for light touch, but it is only localized to areas of the body where there is hairless skin. So an example of, the, uh, of an area of the body where we don't have hair is obviously the face. Um, certain areas of the face usually never grow hair and there is a um, ability of Meissner's corpuscles to be abundant there. And in addition to Merkel discs, they allow for a greater amount or greater sensitization to light touch and allow for the sensation of any pain in those areas. Ruffini's corpuscles are the next um, aspect that I'm going to talk about, or the next nociceptor essentially. And nociceptor, if you haven't heard of this term before, is a term used to describe uh, a pain receptor, basically. So Ruffini's corpuscles are, based on their function, which I'll tell you a bit later, are present very deep within the skin. So they are present in the dermis, and they allow for the sensation of deep pressure and stretch. So that's a good way that I like to remember the location and function of Ruffini's corpuscles. Since they allow for the sensation of deep pressure and stretch, they are located deep, and the structure that is deep within the skin is the dermis. So 
these Ruffini's corpuscles are present within the derma's deep deep pressure. The last um, nociceptor that I'm going to go through today is called a Pacinian corpuscle. Now, Pacinian corpuscles are really the quintessential nociceptor in terms of they are able to allow for a sensation of many different types of uh, stimuli to allow for their activation. And these particular uh, nerve fibers are not just present under the surface of the skin. Rather, they are present also internally within the body. And the reason for that is that the four main, um, essentially, processes that these Pacinian corpuscles allow for sensitization is deep pressure, so similar to the Ruffini's corpuscle, vibration, nausea, and hunger and fullness. So as you can see, when we look at the bottom two functions of or bottom two stimuli that these Pacinian corpuscles can sense, we can see that they are associated with visceral processes within the body. Nausea, hunger and fullness are all associated with the gastrointestinal system. And the gastrointestinal system has no somatic sensory innovation, but rather it is associated with visceral. So these Pacinian corpuscles can be quite um, generalized in their ability to allow for the sensitization of a particular area of the body. Um, but at the same time, they allow for these complex processes to be um, sensed. So in review, we've looked at five different types of nociceptors or receptors today. Firstly, we looked at Merkel discs. And these are in the border of the epidermis and dermis and are responsible for light touch. Root hair plexuses are present at the base of the hair follicle and are also responsible for light touch. Meissner's corpuscles are responsible for light touch and are only found on hairless skin. Ruffini's corpuscles are present deep within the dermis and are responsible for deep pressure and stretch. And Pacinian corpuscles are responsible also for deep pressure and vibration, but most notably they are also able to allow for sensitization of nausea, fullness and hunger. So this has been a video on the five different types of nociceptors and receptors that we usually find on the skin and other parts of the body. I hope you've enjoyed it and I hope it has all made sense. Thank you very much for watching.